<laughs> right now. Uh, it looks like we have a, uh, a Mr. Claude Diamond. Uh, yeah. He's the guest. Hey, a hey, welcome, sir. Hey, wonderful, wonderful man. If you haven't met Mr. Claude Diamond, uh, you know, you definitely want to say hello to him tonight while you got the chance. It's such an honor and a privilege to have him here. He is a, a very well-known author, sales trainer, sales coach, and mentor. Uh, he's also a real estate uh, mogul, guru, you might say. <laughs> he doesn't like that word, but uh, when a guy reaches this level, you know, you there's you got you to gotta ascribe some kind of an honor to him. <laughs> anyway, welcome, Mr. Claude Diamond. And uh, well, why don't you share with us a little bit what's what's going on in your your mind and your heart? We're talking a little bit about uh, answering yeah. questions and objections. Yeah. Um, first of all, my apologies. I think we had a time thing. I'm in California. You're in Central, and I think we had a time mix up here. And my apologies, and I'll make it up to you. No problem. No on, problem. Hey, on that, I just wanted to say that I, I'm embarrassed about that. Stalls and objections. Um, people come to us all the time. The prospects, um, and and they. Then they bring up certain stalls and objections. I'll think about it. I'll talk to somebody else, run it past my lawyer. I'll think about it. Maybe, probably, could have, should have. When we're dealing with people, um, stalls and, let me say this up front, stalls and objections are opportunities to close. That's your takeaway moment here. I've got to do more in less time here because I'm horribly late. Um, stall. Stalls and objections are opportunities for a gut salesman. My name of my sales method is called the gut sales method. Traditional salespeople, when they have a stall or an objection, what do they do, Justin? Yeah, they, they, they go into explainer mode and they, they kill the sale. We, the explainer mode, I'll, I'll, you call it that, I'll call it defensive mode. And I'll tell you right now, that is the death of success at that point. Because the minute you become subservient to the prospect's needs, you have, um, you have lowered yourself in their eyes. You're now a beggar. Now you're a child. As, Mommy, can I stay up late? You have lost complete control and respect of the sale. I'm sorry if I'm being dramatic, and, but I, I want to cut to the chase here. You cannot let the prospect be in control. You have, when you go to a doctor, the doctor prescribes the medicine, does the examination, asks questions, and pokes you. You go to your lawyer. He or she asks questions because they want to they want to defend you the best way possible. I go into sales with the attitude that I'm the one who's going to ask the questions, and I tell this up front. We call that an agenda step. They're allowed to bring up their a stall to me um, is different from an objection. A stall means that they're really not ready to make a commitment, and that's because maybe we haven't qualified them good enough. Um, or they're on a fishing expedition, or they just want free consultation because they get it from everybody else. So a stall is when they do maybe, probably, call me and Justin, send me your contract, send me all this research and stuff, and, and give me a call maybe in two, three weeks. Okay, buddy, I'm not ready yeah. to do anything yet. And you're just wonderful. And just send me all this stuff, do all this research, and I'll get back to you in the near distant future. Is that okay with you? And boom. Yeah. And you have just totally become subservient to the prospect. Now, the amateur guy, 99% of the people in, in sales or in creative real estate, they're, they're so, they act so hard up, pardon my language, to the, pro oh, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Prosper, I'll do anything you say, I'll, I'll be naked to hoops of fire, whatever you want, <laughs> you know, and you, we're in, why are we in business, man? Yeah, to make that make money. money. Make money today, get commitment today, get a contract today, or get done today. Fire the, fire the, I almost said it, <laughs> fire them today. Uh, okay. The beautiful person. That's what you were going to say, right? I'm in business to make money. Um, I'm, I, I'm aggressive, um, but I'm fair. Um, when I talk to people, I want to cut to the, you have a problem. I have multiple solutions, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect. Can we discuss them? Can I ask you some questions? You ask me some. At the end of this conversation, sir, would, Mr. Chamnus, would you do me a favor? Would you fire my butt if we can't come to a conclusion here? Would you just say it's over? You don't have to say you'll think about it or any of that usual jazz. Just yeah. say, Claude, it's over yeah. and we're still friends. Is that okay? Yeah. That's, Can we that... agree on that? Can we be two men in the room here, sir, and agree on this? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. You see you see how he, 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 he says his answer and then he... he tags on a question at the end and he what do you puts mean? it right back he puts it right back on you put it right back on the prospect by asking them a question at the end you you wrap it up with a question right. uh, so yeah uh you know you were saying is this over or do you feel comfortable with this now yeah. or is this over you know i it, think it, we have to we have to dramatically sell differently 
to people. The ninth, should I tell the truth or should I just make everybody feel good and get off the stage here? Oh, just, just lay it out there like, like you've never laid it out there before. Okay, the failure rate in sales and in real estate is astronomically high because nobody except for Justin and myself and a few other select people are talking about the million dollar skill. You, it doesn't matter how much, how smart you are. I've met people so much smarter than me and they don't make anything anywhere near my income. Yeah. Okay, and I'm not trying to sound like a braggart here. It's because I focused on sales. I've met people who spend tens of thousands of dollars on marketing, but they can't convert those people. Those, those pros prospects cannot be converted because they don't know the magic of persuasion and influence. So when you get a stall, you, that means you've lost control. You've got, you eliminate the stalls up front by setting an agenda step in the gut sales method. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, here's the rules. I'm going to ask you questions. You're going to ask me questions. Then we're going to make a decision if we move forward or we'll have another appointment or I'll leave you alone. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Upfront, in control, mature, adult-like. Stop yeah. the games and start getting in control. That's a stall. Stall. Should I move on to objections now or you have a question? Any questions on stalls? <laughs> we I'm were talking I'm, about, I'm we were amazed talking about to have this much energy this late at night. Hey, and I appreciate you being here, sir, very, very much. Uh, oh, we were latest, talking about latest ever, though. Oh, the guilt is killing me, to Justin. I apologize again. Uh, no, that's that's okay. Uh, no I, for, I forgive you. It's okay. Hey, this uh, this group's like a like an old trail horse. It knows where it's Wait. going. Uh, you just picked up on on the trail a little bit later, uh, further up the path. Well, well so. good, good. <laughs> um, because well, I want to get a I want to get a message across. This is the best business in the world. This has given my family freedom, just like your experience. You know, we can, our bills are paid. We're debt free. We're mortgage free. We live like normal human beings. I get to drink premium beer instead of the junky light beer. Um, <laughs> if there's anything wrong with that. Um, the thing about it is the P life is short. The peace of mind to know that you are in, con you can work from home and have that magic freedom, it comes back to sales. But when you're dealing with these stalls all day long, I'll think about it, could, should, might, maybe. Oh God, you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna hate this business. Yeah. You're gonna get, you're not even gonna wanna make the phone calls. This, yeah. this becomes the cactus, Right. okay? Yeah. You'll do anything rather than deal with people. And yeah. when they, and you're, so you tell them, you gotta, you have to be the authority figure in the room so inside if you might be a little coward like me i'm just a little chicken shit deep down inside but on the outside i want to portray authority and confidence that is a big turn on to people when you're negotiating yeah. in business yeah 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 nobody wants to go to the doctor well justin i don't know if this will work i've never done this kind of sir operation before yeah. but you know keep your fingers crossed you don't want that doctor, do you? You <laughs> no. want the lawyer says, well, you know, I just graduated from law school and you, you could go for 20, 30 years or they could lose your house. Uh, we'll yeah. do our best. No, you want assertiveness. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. And Mrs. Prospect, I can help you buy a home, sell a home, invest in a home and I'll and we'll work together here and I'll be available yeah. so that you can do get the, we're gonna try to protect you here and give you yeah. the best deal possible. Are we on the same yeah. page? Can we move forward today or is it over? Boom. Yeah. Claude, what, what is the, what is the one thing that we can do to increase our confidence level? Because I, I've heard some students bring it up in the last week or two, and this really, really comes into play with the agenda section and also with the closing section and answering questions and, and handling objections. But um, what can we do to increase our confidence level, our mindset, our esteem, so that when we're calling, we're not calling like, oh no, I'm a salesman and I'm dialing the phone. I you know, hope they don't think that I'm this or I'm a telemarketer. What's the one thing we can do to help make that mind shift as we're now we're, we're really the investor, we're really in charge, we're really making calls as an authority figure, as that doctor, for example, instead of you know what, what maybe we have been perceiving ourselves as. Do you have any comments on that? Yeah. Um, can I, can I use bad, a little bit of bad language? Yeah, please do. Um, on there. The way, the way to have all the confidence in the world is to make a shitload of money is to make, is to yeah. have success. You can't, it, you can't 
exude success unless you've experienced success. I could give you all the personal affirmations you want, give you all the yeah. post-its to put on the bathroom yeah. wall. I could make, I could charge you $5,000 to walk on my coals, those briquettes. Who does yeah. that? Who does that? Tony thing? Robbins. Tony, Tony Robbins. Robbins. I love yeah. Tony. Tony's a great guy. Yeah. I know Tony and everything, but I still think his coal walking is bullshit. Yeah. Because Monday morning comes around again, and then you know what goes on in your head? Uh-oh, I'm going to pick up that phone and talk to these people who won't like me, who are going to pick my brain. You've got to experience success. The only way you get to success is by picking up that phone, practicing. You know I'm big on what's the one thing I tell everybody? Let's practice. Let's role yeah. play. Yeah. Let's disseminate information like you're doing on this wonderful forum. Yeah, yeah. The information. But we need to practice, whether it's in real phone calls or with other people or with me, I practice with my students. I know you do too. Yeah. And, and you've got to get, so every, a little baby steps further and further, you know, we all have that devil and angel on our shoulder mm -hmm. and imagine me in a red suit on your shoulder with a, mm -hmm. a with a little pitchfork there. And I'm saying, yeah. don't listen to the angel. You know, the angel's going, don't, don't do it, Justin. You might get hurt. You, you, you don't do it. Don't do it. He might not like you. You might be too pushy. And I'm the, I'm the guy with the thing. <laughs> no, just go for it. Life is short. This, maybe they'll say yes, but you'll yeah. never know until you ask. Yeah. And so the only way to get confidence is to have positive experiences in reality. Yeah. Is that, I don't think anyone else says that, says, I see, I think positive affirmations and, and doing all these little challenges, I think they're all wonderful, but I think the best, the best way to success is to experience success yeah that's when you can go i go to my wife i i i've been we've been married 33 years just had her anniversary can i can i have a round of applause here oh Come yeah, yeah. Wait, where is where's your audience what, what are they sleeping i don't uh, see any chat i don't see any video here come on live here guys yeah. come on Yay. <laughs> somebody come alive here come on come alive turn the video on guys come on come on how you are you can't go to sleep here and um here's the thing once you've experienced it's like how do, I, how do I tell you how to ride a bicycle? Oh, Justin, get on that bicycle. We're going to take off the training right, wheels. And right. I just want you to sit up, hold the handlebars, and pedal like mad. What's oh, going to wow. happen, man? Great example. Great. Yeah. You've well, got to get on that bike. Hopefully, mom or dad is helping a little. You, you experience. And then all of a sudden, something happens when you went from training. Remember when you went from training wheels to without, uh, to without them, just two wheels? Remember yeah. that moment where you go, yeah. Holy shit, this isn't that hard. Right. Wow. Right. Can I write a book and tell you how to ride a bicycle? No. Not well, you can, but I'm not gonna learn it that way. Would your wife, if your wife was here and we were having a couple drinks and everything, and I said, Mrs. Chamness, is Justin a better kisser today than he was when you first met him? What Ooh. do you think she'd say? Hell yeah. She'd say, Hell, Hell yeah. yeah, he's a much better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so great. experience is the way we get to confidence. I'm sorry, guys. I, there's no shortcut to it. But if you have the guts to pick, to talk to a few people every day, give me one, two people a day you talk to and you will see magic happen. So that's yeah. the stalls part. Should we get to the objections? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Object. This is important, guys. If you're taking notes, get ready for it. Here it comes. You know, I don't want you to miss it. Objections are opportunities to close the prospect in in that very moment. That's wow. that's real important. Wow, awesome. Give me an objection. Give me a traditional objection. Oh, wait, somebody from the audience, come on here. Yeah. Come on, who's yeah. brave here? I'll give you a free book. Here. What All right, I'll, I'll somebody do a freebie here. I'll send you a, a book. Here, somebody come on. Who's brave? I'm brave. <laughs> okay, I want to see video, man. Come on. <laughs> well, why are my things down on? Come on, I don't care if you're Justin, wearing, can you hear uh, me? I can hear you. I can't see you. You can't Why? see me? Michael? Why? Why my thing is not on? And I've had that problem all my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clark, so, <laughs> right. I, um, like, I like when you try, you close people and you, know, you try not to let them get away. When they will say, well, I need to um, get my wife or my spouse and, uh, Let's roll. Get, go ahead. Get, okay. Give it to me. Okay. Hey, my, can I call you Michael? I'm Clark. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Michael, I love talking to you. I think I can help you get into a house. You said you've been in that one bedroom for five, six years, sick of paying the landlord. I can get you and your wife into a beautiful home with a three-year rent to own. Uh, it'll meet with your budget, uh, monthly budget, and uh, I can 
I can move, I can get you into this home. Uh, it, it, it's, it's okay to say no to me. Can we move forward here or, or is it over? No, Claude, I have to run this by my wife because we, this is a big decision now. Let me. I respect I, that. I respect that. And I like a man who respects his wife enough to, to discuss that finances and things with him. Off the role play, that's called a stroke. You're giving him a compliment. Okay. 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 You well, stroke let me him. ask then, you something. So Michael, then. So, back in the role play. Okay. Michael, so, um, it's what time is it over there, Michael? It's 9.09. Now, I'll tell you what, your wife home from work? It's late. Uh, she'll be here in this. Uh, she's on the way now. I'll tell you what I'll do. You have an iPhone, don't you, Michael? Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, why don't you let your wife come home, give her a drink, massage her feet a little, tell her about this. And in 45 minutes, I'll come out, I'll do a video FaceTime call and I'll answer your wife's questions. Let me check with my wife if it's okay. Honey, Honey. is it okay if I, Mr. and Mrs. Goolsey get out of that lousy little apartment <laughs> and, and get into a nice three bedroom? My wife said it's okay. So you check with your lovely bride, okay? And I'll talk to you in 45 minutes on the video. And, and if we decide to move forward, and I have a lot of people interested, Michael, and so uh, the, the thing is, I need a commitment tonight, or you can tell me no. Either way, what, I don't want you to feel pressured. I just need to know that we're moving forward or it's over. Is that fair? That's fair. You're a gentleman, so I'll talk to you in 45 minutes. Wow. Boom. Okay, got that's, it. That's got got selling. It, got it. Yeah. And Michael, Taking let me charge. let me get a commitment. Michael, if you and your bride like the home, I've sent you a video of the property. You see it tomorrow. Take a tour, and every and I send you a contract, and everything makes with your needs. What happens next when we speak tomorrow at 3:30? We're going to sign the agreement. I'm sorry, what? We're going to sign the agreement. You're a gentleman, <laughs> sir. I'll talk to you in 45 minutes. Boom. Give me another objection. Who else? That was great, Michael. Round of applause for Michael. Yeah, good job. <laughs> nice going, Michael. Better you have another well, you have there, follow -up there's, always, there's always the one that says, I've just got to think about it. You know, Greg? Yes. You know what? You came to me with a problem. You told me you've been trying to sell this home for six months. You're losing a thousand dollars a month. Your wife can't sleep at night. You're not allowed to think about it, sir. Wow. Wow. I'm not. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, do wow. it again, man. Do it again. It felt good. Come on, keep keep it real. Hit me back. Come on. Keep I'm it real. Not allowed to think about it. You, now, now, please don't take that the wrong way, Greg. But you came to me. With a problem, you said the house has been sitting there. It's, you've been losing thousands of dollars. I made you an offer, cash your terms. You can fire me right now, or we can decide to move forward. But think about it. That really means you're being polite to me. And you don't have to be polite to me. You just have to say no or yes. Boom. Go. Oh, my God. Well, you, how do you like them apples? <laughs> hey, we're sweet. Uh. Can you imagine saying to somebody you're not allowed to think about it? <laughs> Do you have the guts? That's the question, right? Do you have the Dang. guts to ask that kind of question? Now you got uh, testicles. You, you got you got to Well, here's Bull the thing. Ball. Whenever when you're talking to somebody, the second step of the gut sales method. And I have a free uh, Can I give a free book to everybody Justin? Yeah, uh, everybody go to claudediamond.com and uh can I say I love Justin in the box. Uh, Absolutely. I yeah. love Justin. Yeah. Put I love Justin in there and get a free book. Hey guys. And if you're looking to get more books from Claude Diamond, let me recommend one. It is uh, the gut sales method rules. Get the rules guys. It will oh, my freaking book. change your life. Okay. A, I had fun writing this. All the rules. You're not allowed to think about it. The Godfather clothes. Yeah. I have made a decision, Mr. Prospect. Oh, let's talk about that. That's a good for stalls and objections. Hey, Greg, I've made it. Go, go ahead. Hit me with that. I'll think about it thing. One I'll, more time. I'll think Greg. about it. <laughs> Greg, I'll tell you what. It sounds to me like you're more worried about my feelings and you, you want to fire me. But I've made a decision, Greg. I want to do business with you and I want to do business with you tonight. I want to send you a contract and buy. I want to buy your home or at the least have another meeting with you tomorrow at 1030. I've made this decision, Greg. Can you make a decision also to fire me or move forward? Sounds fair. Which means? Yeah, we can move on. What? We can move forward. I like that. Thank you. So if I put in the contract everything you and I discussed this evening, and you discover you discuss with your lovely bride, and it meets with her approval. When we speak tomorrow, we can either move forward or we're done. Is that a fair? Is that a fair? Yeah. Uh, commitment for both of us. Yeah, that's fair. You're a gentleman, sir. Thank you. 
Good. Yeah. Nice. We're listen. It's business. Well, how many of us are guilty? Thank you guys for coming on. You're so brave. You came on video. <laughs> Bravo. Oh, look at that. Look at that. God, you make it too easy, man. You make it sound too easy. It's not easy. This took a long time. I'm the world's, I'm the former world's worst sales guy. I'm the biggest chicken shit you ever met when it came to sit. Man, I'd rather clean the toilet than pick up the phone. Okay, but guess how you make a lot of money in this business? Come on, I don't work alone. <laughs> Wait, I heard ask us again. Yeah. What's the question? How do you make a lot of money in this business? Yeah, Talk good to phone. A lot of people. Talking to people. <laughs> that the give yeah, good phone. You got to give good phone. If I can get you guys to talk to two, three people and overcome those stalls and objections, you will make so much more money. And you will. And here's the biggie: you will not feel that. How many of us here? I've experienced it. I feel de when we get too much rejection. How do you? I get downright depressed. How about you guys? Yeah. I hate yeah. that rejection. Don't you? Minds me back in high school when pretty girls laughed at me when I asked them out or out to dance and stuff like that. Okay, that rejection carries us, it carries with you a long time. But in this is a business where if you can have consistent, confident behavior, you can overcome all stalls and objections with people. So they give you an objection, you turn chicken shit in the chicken salad. Give me another objection. Who's got another one? I've heard the two biggies. I'll think about it and I'll talk to my spouse. Give me another one. What's another biggie? I don't know why I would let you do this and make money off of my house. I agree. I, mean, I agree. <laughs> I, you know what? You're not going to get an argument out of me, Mr. Chamness. Uh, can I call you Justin? I feel like I know you. My name's please, Claude. Please do, Claude. You know, Cla Listen, you're a smart young man. I was thinking the exact same thing. Hey, Mr. Black joined us. How are you doing, sir? Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I like when they come out, when everybody comes on video, Mr. Ch uh, Justin, you know what? You're a smart young man. You got a business background, don't you, sir? Yes. Yes, I do. I was thinking, why, why do you, why don't you do your own rent to own? You don't, you don't need me in the deal, right? I mean, you have the contracts, you know, you have a marketing plan using social media and you have plenty of uh, tenant buyers ready, willing, and able, and you understand the whole escrow and everything and the rest of the process, right? Well, Mm, I I could probably figure it out. I mean, it you seems probably like could. And you know what? We all make mistakes. The thing about it is, suppose I could eliminate those mistakes, give you the world's best contract, save you a couple thousand dollars on an attorney, help you develop on a marketing plan, and show you how to make a lot more money than you're going to pay me for a consultation. You wouldn't want to hire me to help you do this deal today, <laughs> would you? Well, I mean, it's not going to cost me anything, is it? I mean, Every, what, of course it does, sir. I got to take my I got to take my wife out to In-N-Out Burger tonight. Okay. Well, what? How do you make money? I don't. I'm, you pay me up front. God bless America. Isn't this a great country? <laughs> <laughs> uh, honest. The, the, the question is, though, you know, and if I was in your shoes, I'd feel the same. I don't want to pay anybody anything, money for anything. It's a question of value, though. If we could get you, what are you asking for your house again, sir? One hundred seventy-nine thousand. If I could get, if I could get you a buyer in your house for one hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars, who gave you some money up front, who paid you market or over market rent, and was capable of buying the house without a paying a six percent commission, and I did it for a reasonable fee that you will recoup on the initial down payment or option consideration, that that doesn't make any sense, does it? Um. Uh... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Are there guarantees in it for me? What do you mean by guarantee? That's a great question. What do you mean by? A guarantee? I mean, you know, if I if I were to if I were to hire you, can I write you... this down while you're talking? This is important. I I know we're on video and I have my notebook here. Can I write this down? This guarantee. Yeah. Um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. What, I'm ready. I mean, what what guarantee do I have that you'll be able to to do what you say? I mean, if I give you any any of this money, I don't know. You you brought it up, sir. What did you have in mind? Well, I mean, if it doesn't work, then I don't want to be out that money. No, that's, a, that's tough. Okay, so you want money back guarantee, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, what else? That's that's one. Well, I think that'll probably do it for me. That's it? That's all? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's real. Then if I could give you that guarantee, suppose for a moment, imagine for a moment I could give you that guarantee. What would you say to me next to my $2,500 fee for consulting with you on your property? Um... 
yeah. I mean, I'd have to talk I'm to my sorry, wife I didn't about hear it. You. Was that a yes or a, a yeah? <laughs> what, what was that? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I've got to talk to the missus about it because it's a, you know, it's pretty decent. Okay, so I could give you the best guarantee in the world, the best testimonials, the best refer references, and I could help you get full price with good people in your home, and you still wouldn't be able to make a decision. Is that is that the, is that the fact of the matter? Well, I'm not trying to run you away. Uh, you, no, you're almost there, sir. I'm ready to go. You, okay, got a, well, you got the lot. You got the winning lottery ticket in your hand. Do you want to put it in the shredder? Well, what what do we do? Well, okay, so what by the way, we... I can't give you that. By the way, just to be transparent, I can't give you that guarantee. Is your got is your doctor going to guarantee that you're going to live? No, no. Okay, does your lawyer guarantee he's going to keep you out of jail if you do something wrong? No. Okay, I can guarantee that I'll perform to the best of my ability, give you the best contracts, and I'll be accountable to you, and, we, and you'll have my phone number. That I can guarantee. But you can't ask of something of me that you wouldn't do yeah. in your own business, can you? Yeah. No. Where should, we, where should we go from here, sir? I'd love to. I've made yeah. a decision. I'd love to do business with you, help you sell your home, take the money so you and the family can go to the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Palace or Disneyland or wherever you want to go. Why don't you talk to your wife and call me back in an hour on the iPhone? Yeah. Or should I put this lottery ticket in the shredder? Boom. Boom. Yeah, let's do the deal. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Send it to me. What okay. do we do? Sure. I, I like doing the shredder. <laughs> <laughs> you like the shredder Boom. idea? Boom. Uh, that was a good role play. I was a little rough on you. You were. So I'd I, I, see, I'd rather, I'd rather you fire me and it's over. I can always call you back in two weeks. I can follow sure. up. Okay, yeah. but I want to close you now. I'm the only sales trainer that I know in creative real estate that goes for the close in the first phone call. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. See wow. this house in southern. See this house in the southern Soviet socialist uh, state of Southern California. Yeah. This is free and clear. It it got paid for by other real estate deals. Yeah. Boom. And that's it's getting to the point with people, getting right to the point with people, and it's not being pushy or overbearing. Yeah. It's just being honest. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you we, feel... we are, we are taught as human beings to just be so full of bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it's like we have to unlearn the bullshit. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Um, you know, um, I've been doing this a while. Claude's been doing this a lot longer than, than I have. And I can tell you from my experience, rarely ever, hardly ever do I get a prospect on the phone that is as hard or as difficult as we were just pretending to be with one another. I got some nasty, I've had some nasty one. Do you ever get the prospect who in the first 15 seconds, they're talking down to you? Yeah. What do you what do, do you there? want? You're the 10th guy to call. You're the 10th guy to call me this week. You guys are all bottom feeders. What? I don't want to, I'm not going to give my house away. Yeah. How do you handle that guy? That's not, that's worse than a stall and objection. That's a nasty prospect. Mm. How, do you, how do you handle that guy? Somebody want to role play with Claude and be that guy? Be, who wants to be an SOB to me? Who's good at that? Here's your chance, guys. You've Here's got your chance. Know. Beat up Claude. You've got okay. the world, you got a world-class sales <laughs> trainer right here, and you got one shot. Don't miss can it. I, can I ask a different question real quick? Go ahead, Rick. Turn, that? turn on your video, buddy. I'm in no position for video, but here's my uh -oh. question. I'm, I'm, oh, a disclaimer. Oh, <laughs> wow. Do you just not believe in warm leads that you'll maybe feel like following up with later? Because it seems like, and I understand your concept, but it seems like you are pushing them far off the right edge. Make a decision now or we're done. Thank you for your time. Hitting the shredder. Next call. So are we talking about cold calls, warm calls, or follow-up calls? Uh, like, like the example you just did where you said, I have the lottery ticket right here. It's going in the shredder. I just wanted to get your feel on that. I mean, do you believe in a warm call where you will follow up? They do really legit. Oh, absolutely. I, I follow up all the time. We had, wait a second, Claudia. I was going to ask my wife. We had somebody a week or two ago from 13, 14 years ago, call us back. That's a super wow. follow-up if you ask wow. me. Wow. What was it, honey? 14 years it took to get to this guy. Jeez. Oh my God. So the, the point is follow-up, yes, Rick. I put everybody into my, my personal CR system is Evernote. Uh, <clears throat> so say that role play I did with Greg and say nothing comes of that meeting tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna thank him. 
I'm going to send him a personal video thanking him personally. I'm going to put him into my CRM or whatever you use, Podio or whatever Justin recommends. And then I'm going to put us, I'm going to give him a score, one through 10, Rick. I'm going to say this guy is a six or a seven. And I'll and say he's a five or a six. I'll call him back after Thanksgiving. Hi, Mr. Rick, Claude Diamond here. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you remember me. We spoke, um, we spoke around November 18th. Year, um, I, I just wanted to, I got a note here. You must have sold that home by now, right, Rick? Gotcha, gotcha. No, I didn't sell it yet. Oh, yeah. my gosh, it's a beautiful home. What's the problem? Yeah, I'm the guy, uh, I'm the crazy guy. I made you all those offers and everything. Um, <clears throat> sent you that follow-up video. Um, you don't want to revisit this, do you? And talk about maybe doing a deal today? It's getting close to the end of the year. You don't want to get this off the books, do you? Yeah, I can see revisiting it, rerunning some numbers, see if something makes sense. Okay, my notes here said, boom. Now you take your notes. I hope everybody here takes copious notes. You save it. You give the guy a score. If he's really uh, like a two or three, call him back in two, three months. If he's a five or six, maybe 30 days. If he's hot, call him back tomorrow. Call him back, set up another appointment tomorrow. I, Rick, I absolutely believe I'm not burning bridges, Rick. I'm just, I'm just putting, I'm treating my business like it should be treated, a business. Yeah, no, I appreciate you, Claude. Thanks for sharing. You don't have to agree. You don't have to agree with me. We all have our own style and methodology. I just like to, I've wasted too much time with people who said, I'll think about it, maybe, probably, call me in two weeks. Do you ever have the guy who said, well, it sounds really good, Claude, and you've been wonderful, and thanks for taking me out to lunch, and I'll give it my highest consideration. What does that mean? <laughs> right. No, I, I, have, I have too many sitting on the fence right now. That's why I really wanted to dig to see where you take some of these warm leads, and if you really try to go left, or just kind of hover in the center and you know recap later, so yeah. You want me to tell you the truth or make you feel good, Rick? Truth always. The fence sitters are your responsibility. Yeah, no you've taking. Got, you've got to go to these people and say, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you know what? I've, I've made a decision or you're making a mistake right now. You came to me with these problems. Then you, Rick, you list the needs and greeds. You got to get at least three, Rick. And they got to be emotional. That's the key to this whole system. Make it emotional up front. Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, you said you were sick of uh, living in your mother-in-law's attic. You wanted your own home. You wanted peace and quiet. You wanted privacy from the kids. You wanted appreciation. You wanted to stop wasting your money on a landlord who won't fix the air conditioner. Uh, and then you tell me you think about it and you're on the witness protection program. I'm calling <laughs> you up today to find out if we can move. Are we gonna move forward or you wanna live in that little place in your mother-in-law's attic for the rest of your life? <laughs> Yes or no, because I don't have the time to waste. I've got people who, who I want to help your family. Is it it, about no. the, it's not about the money, is it, Rick? No, at that point, I guess it wouldn't be, would it? Then what's it going to take to get you out of your mother-in-law's attic and take care of your family and get them into a nice place? Yeah, I see where you're taking it. Boom. Yeah. Well, I think, I think, it, now listen, not everybody loves me, okay? I'm not Jesus. I, I, he loved everybody and everybody loved him, but... I get a lot of people, okay, I get a lot of people, a segment of people who like that assertive, that assertiveness without being a bully or intimidating. They like that, like your doctor who tells you, Rick, I want you to stop smoking 15 packs a day. You got to stop right now, buddy. Boom. Don't you want a, somebody who cares enough about you to talk to you that way? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for your, sure. Your clients, your fence sitters are looking for leadership. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so that's, true. Yeah. That, that's the key of what I'm pulling out of all this, because we can be like the salesman who's begging for the sale, or we can be the professional investor. Oh, yeah. Which we, do you want to be? Minute, yeah. The minute we, uh, uh, be, good point, Greg, the minute we start begging or subservient to the prospect is when we've lost, we've, it's failure. It's where right. we've lost respect. It's where they think that they can do whatever they want, manipulate us, lie to us, because we're, we're not showing strength. They say, oh, I can call Greg up anytime. Greg's a good guy. I'll call him in a couple weeks, maybe. They forgot you as soon as they hung up the phone and went back to their sushi dinner. I'm having sushi for dinner tonight. Oh, wow. I love sushi. Uh, fresh. We got a fresh suit. I'm going to make you guys hungry. We've got a fresh sushi place down the street here. 
Oh man, oh. they got this one roll with uh, crab and shrimp and everything, oh. and, they, oh, and they put these little crunchy things on it. Oh, and I I like sake. Oh yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's good, hot or cold. Um, you got, I, I like it cold. I like it I both like it ways, both. but I usually drink it cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it. I like it cold too. Here we go. Food, food with Justin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. Hey, I, I love a good sashimi. Yeah. Isn't it amazing the money we pay for something that rolled up on the beach? Oh my gosh! And they, didn't, <laughs> they didn't cook it or nothing. <laughs> I could have just taken a bite right out of the fish. <laughs> just catching that bitch like a Pokemon. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Hey uh, uh, guys, I don't want to keep uh, Claude here all night, and it very, very much a, an honor and a privilege to even have his presence here. So. Uh -huh. um, Anybody got any last things that they would like to uh, throw at him or questions or anything? And we'll, we'll have him address that if he's, if he would. And don't forget, go clawdiamond.com. Click the box that says, get the free book, put, I love Justin in there mm -hmm. and he'll take care of you. Yes. Uh, Claude's one of Claude's my mentor. Uh, so I, I'm not ashamed of that. He is the, the inventor uh, of the, I, I use the word inventor. I don't know if that's the right word, but of the gut sales method. Yeah. And I highly recommend that you employ these principles into your real estate business because it will make all the difference in the world, guys. It's not the bells and whistles. It's not the marketing uh, programs, although those are important. And coming up with leads, we got Michael Batista here on the call tonight. Uh, he's got a machine. You can generate leads so easy and on demand and cheap. But what do you Ooh, I do hear with that them? One. What you do you where do with them? Go ahead. I'm sorry, Claude. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. My apologies. No, no, no. You were, you were, you're saying you want to know about the leads and uh, Michael Batista. Uh, oh and, yeah. Uh, I love, I love anything that has to do with, I get all my leads. I don't know. I don't think we have time for this tonight. Maybe at another time I get all my leads through social media. I don't pay anything. I get quality leads every day. Word of honor. Yeah. through Social media it takes a little work yeah. and a little technological know-how. Yeah. But every day I spend about 30 to 60 minutes on social media. Yeah. And I put out compelling, hopefully entertaining. We're in the entertainment business, you know. And so we put out, <laughs> we put out compelling content so that people say, yeah. hey, I like what this guy's talking about. This is yeah. interesting. How do I let me let me Google him. Right. And they come to me with the deals, the buyers, the sellers, the investors, people who want to learn my gut sales method. They come to me through my social media. So I love, you know, to me, you got to, you could be the best salesman in the world, but you better have some leads, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I highly recommend that too. You are talk. you are addressing a room full of people who will not turn their camera on, however. So they're going to have to get over that chicken shit part of the business <laughs> in their minds and get on with being the business leader that you want to be. Hey, okay. we got four we got four people on here now it was okay you know <laughs> we, we, could do it. we got with you uh, justin we could we could play poker or something you know yeah, yeah. i'm no good at that i'm no good at that but um all right any last things for claude uh before we uh, i think debbie has a question debbie did you have a question oh no i didn't sorry <laughs> come on debbie ask me something I mean, let's do some sales here I missed all the other calls, so I'm running behind everybody here. <laughs> you're getting my. You're going to get the free book, though, right? Yeah, I will. Thank you so much for your time, sir. <laughs> Welcome. I'm glad you could join. I like glad we have a lady in the audience. Yes. Yeah, Debbie is such a blessing, such a good-hearted person too. Always the encourager and uh, exhorter. So, thank you for being uh, a part. Thanks, tonight. Justin. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, we we appreciate you. We recognize you for that too. Uh, so, uh, you're you're a vital part of the group. Thanks for being here, everybody. That goes for everybody as well. Thanks for being here. Uh, we really love you. I have and, a question uh, for Claude. Go uh, ahead. Let's let's do it, James. <clears throat> uh, James. Uh, also have a question for you. Hey, Claude. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's a good good talk tonight. Um, I wanted to know when you're following up with people with a phone call. Um, I understand you're on, on California time. What is what? What are the best times in your time zone that you're calling people back? Now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> right now, it? no matter what time it is, right? Well, let me put it to you this way, James. How can I ask how old you are? Uh, Sixty-one. Okay, so you're in my you're in my age group. Do you remember when you were a kid, the big black phone? 
on the, the, that the one phone in the in the living room or whatever and that was it, it was that you had to go around and around and do, a rotary <laughs> dial and everything sure oh, okay yeah. so if you called people during the day the kids were at school mom was at work or a dad was at work right and you wouldn't get anybody during the day so you either, you had to call late at night or on weekends now what what is the remo what is the remote control device of the universe that everybody has cell phone yeah 20. I even have a watch here. See this watch? I don't even take my phone with me when I go when I go out for my run, morning run. This is all I need to make phone calls. Yeah, beautiful. So I guess the answer to your question is: Is everybody? Can you get hold of everybody today at any time? Because they have how many people? Uh, do you feel like you're missing a limb or something if you leave this at home when you go out to when you go out somewhere? Yeah. Do you ever leave this? Does anyone ever leave this home? intentionally nope. once in a while but once in a blue moon right it's uh, yeah. this this we're so addicted to this thing so the answer to your question the answer to your question is people are available i mean be reasonable but i call people at all hours of the day i What's tend to i tend to stay away from evening calls because i think people are tired yeah okay and, and like that they've been working all day i like i love weekend calls during the late morning, early afternoon. Okay. Um, Saturdays Sunday, and Sundays. What's that? Say again. Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, Sundays after church. A lot of people are home. You know, you, you are watching football season. Don't we love to call people during football season? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are are they home? You better believe it. Oh. I think the answer is at least make the call now. Last thing before we, Justin, do we have another minute or we got to oh, get out? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay, another minute. What do you do? This is where your Uncle Claude goes a little different from everyone else. When you get that voicemail, do you hang up like a lot of gurus say, or do you leave a guts voice, <clears throat> a guts voicemail? Hello, Janet. Give us the guts voicemail. What is that? Who knows what a guts, okay, somebody give, somebody give me a beep. Beep. Hey, Greg, Claude Diamond, sorry it took me so long to get back to you, buddy. My desk is full of stuff here. Uh, listen, we need to wind things up today. I've got paperwork and everything in front of me. Call me at 970-281-515 uh, as soon as you get this message. I want to get, I want to take care of everything. Okay, buddy? See you later. 970-281-515. Uh, Bye-bye. I've never called you before. I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. What's going to happen when you get that message? What are you gonna? What are you gonna do? What the heck is that? Let me call this guy. Who is this guy? Do you know this guy? Who is this guy? Oh my God! He sounds like he knows me. Got paperwork. You're gonna call me up. That's Go great. ahead, Greg. Call me up. Keep it real. Hello, Diamond Perfect. Consulting Group. This is Claude. You got that voicemail, Greg? Yeah. Um. You you call me. Uh. What, what was that all about? I don't. Who is this? It's Greg. Uh, Greg. Lore. Lore. Oh, hi, yeah. Greg. I'm Claude Diamond. How can I help you today? Well, I, I don't know. You called and left me a message. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I'm so confused. God, it's this altitude or something. Um, I make so many. This isn't about real estate, is it? <laughs> well, I, I got a house. That's, that's it. And it's sold already, right? Well, no. You wouldn't want to sell it today, would you? Well, everything's for sale for the right Good price. Man. Love that answer. You mind if I ask a few quick questions? You ask me a few and we'll decide if we can move forward and, do, and get it done or, or if it's over. Is that fair? Boom. All right. Yeah. That's called a pattern interrupt. It's a yeah. psychological move where you're calling me up. You don't know who I am and I'm just going to take full advantage of it. it yeah. the, other, the rule that's in my other book is called the you can fix it later rule. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bottom is this in the rules is, in the gut sales yeah. method, the rules book, Claude. That's in the rules book. You can fix yeah. it later. A uh, rule. The bottom <laughs> line is, if Greg calls me back, do I win? Yeah, sure. The more people I speak to every day, buyers, sellers, investors, realtors, I don't care. The more people I speak with, mathematically, do I have a better chance of doing a deal if I speak personally? Or God forbid, get them on a video call every day. Evans, sure. Yes. Yeah. That's how you get to the money you want. We're doing everything except the one thing that is the most important. Mm. That is interacting with another human being in a mm. friendly adult to adult conversation. Yeah. It's the one. It's the missing link, ladies and gentlemen.
That's awesome. Awesome. That's the magic. That's the magic and the beauty. Hey, I want to highlight one thing before we hop off here and close. And Nobody else has anything? <laughs> I still have a question for you. <laughs> you got time for one more question, Claude? Absolutely. Whatever you want, man. I'm in your no, debt. No, actually, it wasn't uh, It wasn't for you, Claude. It was uh, oh. just, just in regards to a suggestion for a, a, a follow-up meeting, uh, all relative to real estate. Um, I just wanted to see... Since, uh, Justin, you had mentioned that most of us are using the automated REI for le uh, as a lead source, but yeah. there's some, some idiosyncrasies about that that I don't understand, and I'm assuming a lot of other people may not understand. I have had multiple calls with Tusif. I've uh, gotten some good information from him. I wanted to see if maybe we could at some point uh, yeah. just do a training on the automated yeah. REI, how to set the filters, how to set the, you know, all this and that. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, Michael's on the call here. Michael, uh, is it time for another training session on your machine? We can do that on Saturday if yeah. you want, man. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Just set, uh, the, you know, what, set the time. We can go ahead and figure that out. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll text you, man. We'll put it together. Uh, all right, guys. Hey, one thing Claude said uh, that really hit me like that is he was talking about, we were talking about what do you got to do to get the confidence to be great at this, to get that mind shift, to be confident to do this. And basically if you listen to what his answer was, is he said, you got to do this until you get the shut up money, right? <laughs> you get that shut up money. right? And then, you know, the confidence is there because you've proven to yourself that you can and you did. All right. And the rest, I promise you, the rest is history. All right. What the is the first... what's the Nike commercial say, Justin? Just uh, do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And, yeah. the more, and sooner or later, if you do it and you do it with a system someone's going to say yes. And when they say that, it's the most beautiful. Uh, you're, I don't know about you guys, but I think making a sale is the second best feeling in the world. Mm, mm. Somebody the explain the Justin what's the first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I, 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 I think I'm good on that, Claude. <laughs> I, I think I'm good on that. I, uh, nobody signed up for any coaching calls to explain that to me. I think I got, I, I got that. <laughs> you got to just, you just do it. And the, your confidence builds up slowly. There's no magic pill. There's no instant thing where you change. You've got to change slowly. You've got to evolve. It's evolutionary, not revolutionary. And the, you, you saw, when you make a sale, by the sweat of your own brow, and then you go back and do a diagnostic. Does anyone here, after a sales call, both good or bad, do a little bit of a diagnostic? Oh, I shouldn't have said this, or I'm glad mm -hmm. I said that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Does everybody do that? Yeah. Should be. You, yeah. yeah. Kind of do an analysis on yourself and say, what did you do right? What did you do wrong? And as you get better and better and you make more, you finally make a sale, you say, wow. I mean, the endorphins are punting, punting, uh, pumping and pumping. <laughs> I'll go to my wife, honey, let's go out for dinner to our, what's our favorite place? Blue Water Seafood Company. We'll go out uh, here in San Diego um, mm. and we'll just celebrate. And that makes me, that empowers yeah. me to yeah. make more calls the next day. Yeah. Reward yourself. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What a great session, guys. Claude, thank you so much again for being here. Thanks, I really, thank really appreciate guys. it. You guys are wonderful. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, I, I really am glad Thanks, that. Claude, uh, appreciate it, bud. Good to see you again. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, guys, I, I love you. Let's sign off um, again Saturday uh, at 10 a.m. Central U.S. time. We'll be doing either I call your seller leads, your seller leads live demo calls, or we'll be doing uh, automated REI training, one of the two. In the meantime, you better get on over to ClaudeDiamond.com and check that out and RealEstateWholesalersClub.com and check that out, guys. Hey, we love you. Thank you. This is all about you and your future. And uh, we look forward to talking to you very, very soon. All right. Just, God bless. Just yeah. what was the name of the book again? Um, you want to get the gut sales method rules. Rules. It was Remember? on ClaudeDiamond.com. Yep. There's 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 several versions of the gut sales method. And, and you want to get the rules version for sure. It's super, super, super good. Get the updated revised <laughs> rules. It will absolutely change your life. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Thanks, everybody. All right. Take bye -bye. care.